today we need to get into people saying that J-Hope has been showing support to Zionists and what that is about. We need to get into J-Hope and Jungkook's new song, I Wonder, and what that is about. And then we have a shocking video that has changed shipping. So you don't mind if Dave decide, hate it or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Grab your Dumplin, taste spilling milk merch, and let's go. People have been bringing up random ship, sort of, and I guess not random if you follow BTS, but random in general because people were talking about how this specific ship has kind of changed how we see shipping in general now within K-pop or in general. What am I talking about? And who are the two people that I am talking about? Of course, I am talking about none other than V and Jimin. They both have a very strong and close friendship. It's sort of believed that the two were dating at a certain point because they're very touchy and close with each other. And other people believe that the two are actually not dating at all. And they're just more so very close and very friendly with each other. And they have like a bromance with each other without it actually being anything romantic. Now, this is more so what I believe and where I'm at with them being together. I think the two are just friendly with each other and just like really close to each other, not in a romantic way. People were taking moments from their reality shows and moments from behind the scenes and taking those moments of V and Jimin to show that they are being cute with each other, friendly with each other, and they're just holding hands with each other. Of course, naturally, two guys who are friends here in the US don't be holding hands with each other. It was a bit different over there but it also shows that the two guys can be friends with each other and hold each other's hands at times when being playful and cute with each other. And it's not seen as super gay or not seen in an emasculating way. By the way, if you do want to join me and the fellow Dumpling community here over on watching some behind the scenes BTS moments or some behind the scenes BTS reality show moments, then make sure you check out the Patreon. I will link that at the top of the description. Currently, we have a couple of spots still open on the $1 tier. So if you're interested in joining at a very cheap price and getting access to literally thousands of videos right away, then make sure you check that out. It's right at the top of the description and I hope to see you there. But anyhow, people brought up some really cute videos and moments of V and Jimin together. And these are moments that I think people are sort of reliving through. We have concert moments where the two would be very cute and touchy with each other, even moments where the two would opt to be with each other on stage or when they're sitting on a couch waiting for their show to start or something. Many articles and many people have dubbed these display of affection as shameless as they don't tend to care about what other people think and they just care about about showing love to each other. And it's not even just with V and Jimin. So many of the other members show this type of affection with each other. And it really goes to show that the stereotype that we have of how men should interact with each other, with other men, needs to be taken down and needs to be dismantled because it's just not true. While two guys can be touchy, feely, and lovey with each other, the same way two women can be in that way does not mean that they are less than men. Of course, it is what it is. And there's a lot of things Things that people will say online and there's a lot of people that will have opinions. I felt like for a long time we've moved past this idea that two guys can be touchy with each other or that two guys can do something like that and not be seen as gay. However, that's not the case. I was even seeing news articles still writing words saying that two guys touching is seen as taboo when we're living in 2024 and something like two people loving each other should not be seen as taboo. And even two people touching each other shouldn't result in someone questioning what their sexuality is. Because who cares? If I see two guys on the street touching each other, my thought isn't, oh my God, what's their sexuality? My thought is, oh my God, I have to be somewhere. Like, why do people care what other people are doing? And in that vein, there's been a lot of conversation about what J-Hope is doing recently. And I think it's very interesting and we need to get into it. So if you're not aware, J-Hope released his album and he put out the track list recently. So people got to see what the songs were, who's been producing the songs, who's writing the songs, all of that sort of stuff. People were very unhappy and brought up a lot of people that BTS has worked with and people that J-Hope has been working with with on this album. Things like Benny Blanco and other Jewish artists. And this is very interesting to me because this has gone so far beyond just people who are actively and openly supporting Zionism, but they're going after people who are literally Jewish saying, how dare a BTS member support a Jewish artist? And I find this so interesting because at the same time, these people are not going after Zionist TV shows. They're not going after Zionist apps. They're not going after Zionist foods. Every single thing you can possibly think of that you're consuming has probably been created by a Jewish person 
person or someone who supports Jewish culture. So to support those things, but then isolate and single out a BTS member and say that they're the problem because everyone they're working with is like Jewish or something, that's not okay. And we're going into territory where this is literally anti-Semitism, selective apparently and only towards BTS members. And the only reason they're doing this is because they don't like the idea that Jungkook and J-Hope have worked together. They would prefer if they were separate. And there's even another part of the community saying that J-Hope should have never worked with Jungkook because Jungkook is a sellout and all of those awful things. And J-Hope is someone who is pure and has worked his way to be successful, unlike Jungkook. What is considered pure and what is considered like someone that is getting help. Because I remember getting backlash a long time ago from someone who was so angry because I said Jackson Wang had a publicist. You know what a publicist is, right? The person who submits news stories to the media, the person who submits Jackson Wang into talk shows and all those sorts of things. The person who manages all that is a publicist. Otherwise, how does the news know all these things about Jackson Wang or any K-pop idol if it isn't for a publicist submitting those things? For example, if a celebrity goes to the hospital, how does everyone know unless the publicist is the one that's submitting that story to the news outlets. However, their argument is how dare I say Jackson Wang receives any sort of help from his literal team because he does this all himself. Not only is that physically impossible, but it's not possible for someone to be in the industry and move up very fast and far without a team. You can be independent. You can be very, very successful being independent. However, in order to become a household name and appear on TV shows and do all that crazy stuff, you need a team before you can do that. And that team is solely built throughout the years. It's not just given to you, at least not if you're independent. If you're signed to a label, you are given those things but they won't give you the best unless you blow up. So yes, Jungkook received help and yes, J-Hope received help as well. The term self-made is always very interesting to me because if you look at any single person who has made it to a billionaire status, you can't really say any of them are self-made. Is no such thing because if you're going off the idea that they had no help from anyone, then at a certain point, they're no longer self-made anymore because you cannot be a billionaire without having employees and having a really successful company. You can't even be a multimillionaire without having company with a lot of employees. As you can imagine, there's been a lot of backlash since J-Hope's track list has dropped, and specifically there's been some comments about one particular song called I Wonder that was featuring both J-Hope and Jungkook. We have no idea what the song is going to sound like as it's obviously not out, but people have been sort of torn. There's been a bit of mixed reaction online. Half the people love the fact that J-Hope decided to work with Jungkook to create a song, while the other half hates the idea that Jungkook is even involved with anything J-Hope does. As I said earlier, people want the song I Wonder to be deleted from J-Hope's track list. They want it to be gone. They don't like the idea that J-Hope is apparently working with another Zionist or someone who uses payola. And these claims are absolutely ridiculous because then once these claims have been made, people then have been targeting J-Hope to say, well, he's not innocent of that action either, and suddenly it becomes a war between J-Hope and Jungkook fans. When y'all realize they're friends, right? Like they physically chose to work with each other and they're actually friends with each other. It's not like they're forced to be with each other. J-Hope had no obligation to have Jungkook on the track. The only reason J-Hope probably thought to add Jungkook to a track was because he probably thought Jungkook had the perfect voice for that part. It also goes back to this idea that people are trying to control the artists that they like and they want to control who the artist works with and what the artist does on the day to day. And I'm sure that desire to control the artist comes from the fact that those people have no control over their own lives. And this is why I constantly preach that these people need to get some mental help or go to therapy or something because this is not healthy. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thank you so much for the comment right here. Love you. Bye.